everyone, we're back. My name is Miss Scarlet Tanager, and I am playing some Mass Effect Andromeda. So, I've got us all set up to go do Vetra's loyalty mission. But first, since I've done a lot of side questy bits, we're gonna go just make sure nobody has anything to say, and if not, I'll see you guys when we're going towards... Shut up, Sam! Adults are talking here. I will see you once we are about to ready to go do Vetra's loyalty mission. Ryder. Might I borrow your research room access? Why? Nothing much. Just hoping to research something in my spare time. And oh, would you that care to help? Something is. I'll help if I can. Suvi, could you take the helm for a little while? Suspicious water drinking is suspicious. But all suspicious. that data we've gathered on the skirt should be good for something. Callo. Is that our drive core? I love you. I want to research new but... systems, sensors, shields, EMP defenses to help any ship tackle the scourge. You want to use I'm using Lucille's old blueprints as a baseline. I can read them from memory, but if you and Sam can help, I'd really appreciate it. Okay, sure. I as long as you're not experimenting on the ship. Sam and I can pitch in, sure. Though if you want someone who really knows ships, there's always Gil. <laughs> <laughs> we barely speak these days. I thought it was best. Hey, yet, dude. Gil's redesigns are what got me thinking. Funny. Most Solarians leap at innovation. Well, since Gil is helping, maybe you guys should partner up. If he's got ideas and you know the specs, that's a powerful combination. Run with it. Do it! We forget all our technology didn't just appear. Someone invented it. Someone cared. Do it! That matters. But so does inventing new things to care about. New memories. Gil, then. <laughs> Any advice on how to ask him? Uh, be sincere? A honesty and humility will go a long way. Gil, may I get a moment of your time? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Just looks at me like this is going to end terribly. Got anything to say? Oh, there he is. Hi, yes, Gil. Just like you wanted. I'm researching new systems to handle the scourge. I could use your expert opinion, please. <laughs> Sticking to the old school? I don't have to. No sense reinventing the wheel, though you'd need better secondaries in place. Here. No. They're no best friends. Also, Cal disappeared for a second there. That's awkward. Let's go see if I can find somebody else to talk to. So I found a facial reconstruction suite that I didn't know about on the medical bay. I kind of want to change my character's hairstyle because, as you can tell, I don't wear my hair up very often. <laughs> so you might see slightly changed. Ryder, in about a second. So everyone, my character's appearance has changed a little bit. I changed her hairstyle, not just hairstyle, nor hair color. The problem is, is they still don't have a proper red, so when you guys see it, it's going to be super red. Not, you know, the dark, dark red that I actually have. But it's gonna look a little different. Just, um... Just a little. Don't worry about it, bro. It'll be fine. <laughs> wow. Look at all this. Wait for it. The scourge did a number here, didn't it? And I think this was oh. supposed to be the Turian home. Now the exiles have taken over. Yeah. Cosmic radiation is off the charts, Ryder. You'll need to stay in the nomad. Boom! <laughs> New writer is in new. Normal situations, they do. This planet's magnetic field was disrupted when it cracked open. No protection from a cosmic ray tearing you apart at the molecular level. Gross. So stick to the nomad. Yep. Descent engine engaged. Good luck, Ryder. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, now we have super red hair. I mean, it looks more like what my hair looks like after I first get it dyed. Whenever I get it re-dyed. Which I need to do that. But it's been a hot minute. But yeah, we are super red now. Okay, we are going to go towards wherever Vetra needs us to- Oh dear god. Okay, this is gonna take a hot minute. Be right back. Whee! Oh. <laughs> we should check it out. 
Okay. Well, it just means you have to get in here first. Also, we're on a place that doesn't have very good atmosphere. Positive and radiation detected. Please remain yeah, the it literally won't let me leave the nomad. Yes, I, but what if I want to get murdered by radiation and get terminal cancer? Rude. Also, red hair, red hair, red hair. Scarlet, your hair is scarlet. I'm allowed to make that joke. Nobody else is. And I'm allowed to make that joke because my name is Scarlet. And I have heard it a billion times. Okay. My sister. Okay, Vetra, let's go do your loyalty mission. Hopefully it is as fun as Liam's, but not as hard stopping with Jaw getting shot is Jaws. Please. Vetra's my sister from another species, Mister. In this particular game. Looks like no one's home. Red hair. I, swear I've said I wanted it to be darker red, but I couldn't I'm make it darker red. Shin plates. I tried. It was the reddest, darkest red no! I could get. No! Now we're here just get to be candy apple red. Oh, you're dead. No, no, you're dead. No, you are so dead. Wasn't wearing her helmet. She is so dead. Did I land on you? Sorry. I don't think you landed on anybody, but your honey buns. Ah, Nix. So good to finally meet you. And you brought friends. Uh, That's uh, even the Pathfinder, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, My big I'm the Pathfinder. Unexpected. Rude. The missing settlers. Who are you? Why are you kidnapping innocents? Innocents? <sighs> They're criminals. Um. You helped them get away from me. You think I'm gonna let that go? Uh oh. Get comfortable. You'll be here a while. Petra? I need to know what you've been doing and who you, who you pissed, pissed off. off. <laughs> I don't know who that was or what she was talking about. I know better than to. It's okay, Vetra. You don't have to cover for us. Uh oh. Call it is. That was Meriwether. She runs a smuggling ring on Kadara. We worked for her. Vetra helped us get out of it. New lives. Hiding in the outposts. Oh. Outlaws on my outposts? Vetra, you did good on the buns. So you were helping people. There was no need for all that modesty. It's not modesty. I didn't help anyone. Okay, okay. You didn't help anyone out of here. Jesus, Vetra! There's no way out. I didn't help anyone. Um, There's always a way out. Vetra? Honey? She's crazy. Better, you have to Petra believe seems me. Really I have no idea what's going it's on. It's making me doubt what really I'm happened. going to get answers, but first I, we have to get out of I here. I hope this all gets sorted out soon. Wait a minute. Vetra's like, I didn't help out anyone. What if Sid was using Vetra's information and posing as Vetra to help them? Do you know what Meriwether plans to do? Calling it now. We were always bait for Vetra. Now that Vetra's here, Meriwether has no use for us. Well, that's not good. For Vetra, most likely revenge. Meriwether doesn't care for people who meddle in her business. Nothing good in store for anyone, I'm certain. So we're going to kill her. Got it. There was some mention of you being a Nexus exile? Yeah. I'm not proud of it. When we first got here, things were bad. Real bad. Oh, I can't spin around. Yay! Yeah, really? oh. the can only spin a little bit. When the revolt happened, I joined. But things aren't better on Kadara. We're out there on your own. Thanks to Vetra, I got a second chance to do things right. And Vetra's like, <laughs> yeah, Vetra's like, I didn't do anything. It's it's Sid. Later. I'm calling it now. It was Sid. Calling it now. Vetra, we need to have a talk. We need to talk. <laughs> yeah, I know. These people here think I helped them, and somehow Meriwether feels screwed over by it. You sure you don't know anything about what happened Vetra? Ryder, I swear on my sister's life. Yeah, your sister's in on them. I'm betting to put myself in Meriwether's crosshairs. No, but your sister probably How well did. Do you know Meriwether? I've heard of her. A smuggler, not affiliated with either the outcasts or collective. 
Never did business with her myself. Kind of a loose cannon from what I've heard. Obviously. What do you think Meriwether's planning? Probably gonna slay into slavery. Looks like she was gunning for me. Or kill you. People she thinks I helped as bait. Yep. If you ask me, she's planning to kill me. Yep. After a thorough interrogation, of course. Probably. Sounds like she wasn't expecting you. Might try to get something out of the Nexus in exchange. Awesome, oh, Brianna. Let's get the fuck out of here. Later. Focus on getting out of here. What I like to hear. I got a cut on the corner of my mouth. Ah, it's really annoying to talk with it. Alrighty then. You need... This guy is just standing like a champ. He's like, I am here. I have no lines. I know what important, but I am here. <laughs> okay, let's figure out how to get crap out of here. Do -do -do. Oh, oh, oh. Obvious is obvious. From here, Pathfinder. You don't say. There has to be a way out. I can open the doors from my end, but they're powered down. We need to get them going again. Your end? Mysterious Who ally. I don't like the sound of this, Ryder. Just get those doors some power. Vetra, that sounded like Sid. <laughs> that sounded sort of like Sid. Vetra, Vetra, that sounded sort of like Sid. It appears functional. No way to know until we try. Yay, generator! Taking it out now? No? Well, balls. Everyone's following me! Stalkers. Wires! That cable's not going to get power to that door. More wires! More wires! These might connect the door to the generator. More wires! No, stop it! Busy scanning wires. Okay. Must completely scan all the wires. Okay, now I'm in. Ow. Oh. Did I miss a wire? I was having fun scanning the wires. Oh. Now I can click on the wire. Okay. My wire. Find a way out of Meriwether's prisons. And I have to connect the generator to the door to get the door power, so totally not Sid. It might not be Sid, but totally not Sid. <laughs> Still thinking it's Sid. Might not be Sid, but the door tripped a silent alarm. Great! If the guards see Galloway and the others, they're dead. We gotta hide them. The storage room. You mean the one that's right in front of me? <laughs> the storage room that's right in front of me. Company calling us the storage room. Guys, get in here. Get in here, we're gonna log you in, it'll be fine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Don't worry about a thing. Okay, get in the freaking storage room, bro. That panel. You'll be able to see the guards coming. Cool. If you wait till they go by. You could surprise them. Next to scan objects. Okay. Wait for them to go by. Then we can get out and we can shoot their faces, right? Okay, time to get out! God. Is it safe? They didn't see you. Stay here, and we'll take care of them. And we'll shoot them in the face! Come at me, bro! Up. How do I play this game again? It's been a hot minute! No! No! Tee! Ow! Rude! How do I play this game again? I don't know, they're dead anyway. <laughs> that took care of it. Galloway! You, okay. you okay, bro? Is everyone okay? I looked super short for a second there. You've been pretending to be me, haven't you? No! Uh, how did you think I don't recognize my own tricks and stop using my voice? Sorry. It was just easier to get things done when people thought I was you. Ha ha you know, ha. Have contact all this stuff. Sid. So you didn't help us just like you said. It was my yeah, sister. My kid's sister. <laughs> my kid's sister. That was pretty cool. Give your sister some credit, Vetra. This wasn't exactly easy to pull off. Ryder, don't encourage her. <laughs> Sid, I know you're I'm gonna encourage the crap out of her. Get back in your shuttle and return to the Nexus. But I can help you get everyone out of here. You hacked a door without checking for safeguards. That's help we don't need. So walk me through it. I got eyes on the base. 
Ryder? Don't look at me! She's your sister. Great. Thanks for the backup. <laughs> I'm Sid. Oh my god. Oh, follow my instructions and don't get creative. We'll stay put and follow you when it's safe. Don't want to get caught in the crossfire. The sooner we get going, the better. Sid will alert us if anything's headed our way. Head down the corridor, through the mess hall. There it is! Spider friend! Got a spider friend on the ceiling! Right above... Right above me. Spider friend! Spider friend! Does whatever a spider friend does. I just looked up during that cutscene and went... Spider. <laughs> Giant spider. On my ceiling. It's also like a million degrees in here and it's really hot and I don't like it. Other than that, <clears throat> the high spider, please don't eat me. Safe spot. Yeah, I'm tapped into their system from outside. Shuttle's well hidden. Trust me, I know what I'm doing. No, you don't. You're gonna get caught, and we're gonna have to save you. I'm calling you now. That's what's gonna happen. Let's go through this door. And let's go through the other sister was Ooh, datapad. Uh, something about being bros. I don't care. Impersonating you. Do you think I would have let her if I knew? Nope. This explains a bunch of the strange reactions I've gotten from some of my associates. Uh-oh. Shit. I have no idea what else she's done in my name. <laughs> Lots of things. <laughs> Probably. Well, it's your own fault for not letting her do anything. Well, did I click on the security bridge? Can't move. Oh. Sid, we're going to need you to hack into systems to cause a disruption. Right. Only one. And try not to kill us. Too much messing around and they'll track you down. Yeah, what what Vetra said. Sid, can you see the colonists? Yes, they're playing it safe, keeping the corners. I'll okay. keep an eye on them, promise. Um this one. Sid, what's that door? Um, looks like it leads to some kind of workshop. Could be some gear in there. I like gear. Any security? Yeah, loads. If I open the door, you'll have to deal with them. Hey, what's this? I send a surge of power to that generator. The electrical discharge from that could take out some of them. Hmm. Okay. Oh god, suddenly dude showed up! Ryder? Blow the generator up. Hmm. <laughs> do we want to make this harder on us? Or do we want to blow up the generator? Fuck it, I got a lot of credits for blowing up the generator. I'll load that generator as I walk through the door. You and I will seem like a god! <laughs> Where am I? Oh. There I am! And BOOM! <laughs> That's one way to do it, bruh! And dead. Did I kill them all? Is there a dude there? There was a dude there! It's a dead dude now! Get to the menagerie. Why is they went after your friends? No, yes. But never mind. It's the way I things work, Sid. It's the way things work here. Through... Huh. It looks like a bunch of cages. Great. Menagerie cages usually means some sort of monster I'm going to have to murder. A lot of monsters I'm going to have to murder. And I'm probably going to die. What the hell is happening? Who's messing with security? Don't worry Where don't worry about it. Down? Don't worry about it. Someone answer me. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Don't you worry about it, though. Dear God, I was right. Okay, so we got a whole bunch of nasty creepy crawlies. Eat those cocking things. Damn, those guys are hardcore. Yeah, that's fair. That's a lot of animals. They could be training them. Oh my God. Measure. Oh my God, this big guy over there. If they're still feral, they could soften up those guards for us. Then again, they might also attack us. That too. Turrets. Our turrets. Those might be a problem. I could turn them off or change the attack protocols. No, I want to scan the monster. Oh, fine, you two. Okay, change the turret protocol. Turn off the turrets. Free the beasts or look around. Well, if we free the beasts, we're eventually going to have to kill them ourselves. 
turn off the turrets. It doesn't really help us. Changing the turret protocol could help us, so we're going to do that. Turn those turrets on Meriwether's men. That should get them out of our way. Here we go. And murder them all. Let's get in there and help. By that, I mean stop breath. Oh, I should probably take my gun out. That would help. And you're dead. Okay, where's the rest of you? There he is! Hi, nude! I shoot you in the butt. What? Who let the beans out? Oh dear god. I knew the monsters were gonna get out of here. Ow, 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 getting undercover, getting undercover, getting undercover. Okay. I'm gonna hide here for a second. Because I am of the dying. Oh dear god! Um. Nope. Nope. Nope! <laughs> oh crap! <laughs> Get in the freak away from this guy. Okay. Um. 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 I'm just gonna stay up here. I like this spot. Nope. Oh my god, he can't hit me from up here. Yes! <laughs> Get wrecked, nerd! <laughs> oh, and now he can hit me. Okay. Just hide, it's fine. Ow. Rude! Get me! Okay, now I have no nothing. And now I am dying. I'm just gonna stay here for a second. Vetra, have fun. And then that one! To boom! And it's not dead. Why did these things take so long to kill? I just want to murder! From a safe distance! Jaw is kind of a badass to be staying down there, though. Oh, well, let's be perfectly honest. And he's dead. Okay, clear out the menagerie. Still got an anarchist. We lost Vetra. Vetra! My sister from another species misses up now. I didn't even have to do anything. Hm. I also need ammunition. Ammo! Ammo! The kingdom for some ammunition. Please. Please. I guess I can just go badass and- Nope, never mind. No badass, or maybe a little bit of badass. Like it is! Bam. Is that all? Cool. That was intense. Everyone is dead. Was so big. You guys were amazing. Thanks, honey. Anyway, you should head through the workshop next. That's the direct way out. That's the plan. Gonna head straight there. Then we're going to give Sid a stern talking to. Granted, it's badass that she managed to pose as Vetra for so long, but I want this rat caught. Nope. Double the rations for anyone that does it. You touch Vetra, we're gonna kick your ass. Or touch Sid, we're gonna kick your ass. If you touch Vetra, then you're already dead. I mean, let's be honest here. Okay, now what? Scan everything. Scan the thing. If that engine has a charged core, it might explode. Hmm. I could dump out whatever's in those tanks. That could be bad for me, that though. Stuff cuts right through shields. If we're not careful, that'll hurt both them and us. Yeah. Or a mech. Hmm. Looks like you've got loads of options. I do got loads of options. Save all the hi oh, that'll just save all the hydro armor. Can I use it myself? Now let's blow the engine. Blow it up. Sid, can you fire up that engine? Let's blow them up. Ugh, that's gonna hurt. Dude, we're gonna kill them anyway, honey buns. Alright. Alright, alright. Killing, 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 killing. Oh god, please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. I like being alive. Okay, he's dead. I'm just gonna go flying in this direction to get the hell away from that guy. And kill you the sword. And a little bit of this. And a little bit of sword. No? How about this? Fuck! They, th they think they can beat me, and then they forget that I have mag the power of magic is sorry teleporting sword. What? I mean, they're trying to get clever. Nope! Yeah. I see you over there, my friend, though. This is probably a lot more dudes than I'm really able or ready to handle. So... Oh, there, there goes one. Ow, ow, ow. Okay, that was a bad idea. Maybe I shouldn't have just stood there and took all that to the face, because I am in biotic. I am not a person that does things well. Ha! 
Get a bad combo, it still does damage to him, even though the singularity don't do shit. Okay. You and I are gonna have a discussion. And by that I mean you're very dead now. Oh dear. Hi! How you doing, bruh? Alright, you're dead now. <laughs> I can't do anything there yet, but I can do this. Didn't really do much, but whatever. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Oh god, get out of here. Time to get out. Nope. 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 Okay. Hello, Mr. Man. I'm gonna do that. And I'm gonna do that. Because it still does combo damage. Hello, Mr. Hydra. Maybe I should have disabled the Hydra armor. Because it's the thing for everyone to kill. Okay. Dead now, though. So now I can go over here and murder this guy. And of course, Butcher took my kill shot. I knew you guys did stuff like this, but helping you do it, it's different. That's why I never wanted you involved in the things I did. Eh? <laughs> Siphon an adventure if you can't handle pain and blood. Well, yep. I guess it's straight through the door next. Oh, poor, poor Sid. She's like, I am getting so shell shocked, even though I'm not actually shooting anything. I'm like, well, honey, that's kind of what you get. Sid, I mean, what do we have coming up? She got caught. Sid. Uh, looks like. Sid. I think. I think someone found my shuttle. I can hear. Sid, get the fuck out of here. Gotta... Oh no. Sid. Sid, come in. I didn't get in poorly. They found her. They're gonna kill her. Why'd you have to go be the hero, Sid? Stupid, so so stupid. We got this. We got this. Petra. They won't kill her just yet. We, we just have this. to be quick. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, I we're gonna go save your sister. Signal yeah. should take us to her. No time to waste, but we have to be careful. They have my sister. Well, well yes, I understand. They have your sister. Let's go through the door so we can go save your sister. Watch out! Okay, right bruh. How about I do this? Bonk. Aha! That's one way to do things. Run in there, completely lose your shields, and then explode. That console probably controls the security in this room. We should shut it off! Or we could... Wait. Disable the turrets. Oh. I can disable the turrets? What? Disabling the turrets! Maybe? Oh god, they can turn around. Um... Where did I say the thing was? I wasn't paying attention. Oh, there it is! Got it! Turrets powering down! We're clear! Yay! Well, we're not clear yet. We still have this guy. Now he's dead. You're the one that's been killing my people. Yep! I didn't. I didn't kill anyone. I don't even know how to shoot a gun. You want your rat veteran Nix? You come to me. Help! Yeah! You heard Sid before I kicked your ass? And by that I mean, you know, you're already dead the second you looked at Sid sideways. So Hey, nice scar you got on the cheek there, Joel. Wonder where that came from. For a second, it looked like her hand was inside Vetra's Think back. carefully about your next move, Pathfinder. That explodes. It takes you out, too. You won't let that happen. Vetra. I don't know, man. It's be okay. We're gonna get you out of this. Come on, that's a kid you got there. She's not a threat. Let her go. I mean, she was kind she of a threat. my security. She's as tall as you are. Guns on the ground. <laughs> they put the one gun on the ground that they're holding, and they don't disarm of any of the others. See? Pistol still on the hip. I mean, what? <laughs> run, let you run! Yeah! Boom! Because Petra is a goddamn badass. Please don't be mad that I just put her in a lot of danger there, honey. <laughs> I just put her sister in so much danger. Yeah, that, that thing. Because we're professionals! Whee! Hello, Mr. Man! I kill you now, okay? Is he dead? No, he's not dead! Yeah, we got this, Joe. Okay. Hello! 
fog. Where did that guy come from? Excuse you. Don't you even try. My Asari sword is better than all your shit. Hey, anybody had none over here? I have no shields. That's a bad thing. Okay, you. We're gonna knock. And by that I mean we're gonna do this. And then a little bit of this. And shoot you in the butt. Right in the crotch. I should just stood there and took that, too. Okay, then. I'm gonna take this. Just in case. Voila! Como estas? You wanna make the dead. Nope! I really need to stop pretending that I am... You know... Not a squishy biotic. But hey, I'm really good at running around, so I'm gonna cut something. No, don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me. I'm gonna die. Yep, I died. That's <laughs> what I get for being a squishy biotic, I guess. <laughs> Alright, I finally took out Meriwether. I, I'm fine. I think. Sure about that, honey buns? Because it looks like you're having a rather hard time at things. Because you just saw a lot of fire and a lot of shit go down. Ooh, it's tough. Are you no, I wanted to get the stuff! Darn it! I... I think I'm okay. Nope, That's not an answer, Sid! Good. Thanks to you. My hair is so red. <laughs> I'm not fun messing with the hair now. I'm sorry, okay? You can't just mess around with people from Kadara. They're dangerous. I just... These guys wanted to start over, not be exiles anymore. No one else was giving them a chance, so I thought... I can do that. I can oh, help. Oh, Sid. Honey. Oh, God, who are we going to side with? Sid or Petra? Sid. These are good people who made bad choices. Your sister did the right thing. She still should have talked to me. Well, yes. I don't want you hurt. Yeah. There are ugly sides to what I do, and you shouldn't have to deal with them. You started out when you were my age, and you managed okay? That doesn't make that it right. By choice. You saw what we did here. This isn't all fun and games, Sid. Yeah, I was shocked at first, but I understand now, and I can handle it. I don't want you to have to. Whatever. I'm going back to the Nexus, like you wanted. Oh dear. <laughs> Sibling, are there still a spider up there? I think it's staring at me. <laughs> you okay, honey buns? That was intense. Are you alright? Fine. I just need some time to think. Hey, at least the settlers are safe. Yeah, Thanks silver linings and all. Rider. Can we just get moving now? Yeah, sure. That's a very good plan. Me. So I think um, we need to go talk to Vetra on the Tempest. We also, oh, we also still have a side quest with Sid to do on the Nexus. Uh, should I do that now, or should I go do Korra's? Loyalty mission? And let's go do... Let's go talk to Sid and do Sid's little side questy bit. Because I thought about just doing that off screen, but since it's Sid, Vetra's sister, I figure let's do it on screen. But first, we're Damn gonna talk Sid. to Vetra. What's going on? I get influence with power players, only to have it squandered by a sister calling in favors under my name. Do you know she got the genome for... Oh, what is it? Cats. <laughs> Genome for One, cats. There's no place to grow anything right now. Two, it seems they aren't even a food. So why? Because cats are fun. Lots of people love cats. They make them happy. I don't think we're in a position to put amusement over necessities. Well, sometimes you need a little bit of cats think. to cuddle. Tries to help everyone. Damn the consequences. That sounds like me. She thinks what we do is so exciting, but doesn't really understand what it takes. How can she when you keep trying to shield her from your work? Yeah. I just didn't want her to grow up before she had to, like I did. She's shown she's ready. Trust that. She's an adult. Forever. But what if she gets herself into another mess? What if she gets hurt? <laughs> Romance. No. Um, uh, she has you. She'll have you to watch her back. I hate it when you're right. <laughs> she's going to go her own way, no matter what I do. Damn straight. If she does it without my help, she'll run into even worse trouble. Yep. Thanks for helping me with this. I swear, my sister isn't going to drag us into an ambush again. I'm totally romancing you in a second playthrough, Vetra. But, for now, Jal with his heavenly, heavenly voice. Okay, right, let's go have a side quest with Sid. Well, I found Sid! So, let's see what she wants. Good that you're here, Ryder. 
Hey, honey. I found something while monitoring comms for the Nexus. Everything is going terribly. By people called the Three Sabers. They're hitting outposts and supply vessels. The really weird part is they seem aware of our operations, like they're getting intel. Remember kidnapped settlers? You asked for help. I swear, Said. <laughs> <Vetra's laughs> gun, I'm not lying or getting you to clean up my mess this time. <laughs> I put in an official report. They keep saying they'll investigate, then they don't. Three sabers is the three musketeers. If someone's betraying the Nexus, you have to do something about Please it. Please tell me this is a Three Musketeers reference. If they seem to know our operations, that could spell trouble. Best to get to the bottom of it. Thank you. I knew I could count on you. Best God, I wish I could have a natural red color. I don't color. know where they hide, so they can't but I have I'll mess with it later. Maybe the Tempest scanners can figure out where they went. Lucky. Uh, site investigator, where am I going? This way! Bonk. So I scanned the ship, so it was kind of boring, so I cut it out. And it told us to go here, where we have to defeat the three sabers, which still just makes me think of the three musketeers. Hi, how you doing? Bonk. Honey, you shouldn't go right up to me. I am the Pathfinder, and I have an Asari sword, and it's made for killing Asaris? No, that's not how that works. Anywho, anybody in here? Hi, Hayden. What the fuck? I just went through a wall. That's not how that works usually. Stop trying to hurt me. It's rude. I am your lord and savior. You should not be hurting me because it is my job instead to murder your face. Ow! Yeah, I found me. Child help. Child, my love. My lord, help me kill the dudes so they don't kill my face instead. See, usually when I'm doing stuff off screen, I'm playing this game on narrative because I'm lazy. But when I'm doing recordings, I'm playing it on normal, which means everything is harder. <laughs> so they got rid of their former leader. That's eh, fine. Do 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 do. do. So, bros, I'm gonna do that, and I'm gonna do that. No! Get the bomb away from me! Boom! And it blew. It blooded it up. Who's shooting me? Who is shooting me? I have no idea who is shooting me. Okay, I think I got them all this time. No, there's still one. Where is he? Is he just... Is he just hanging out below? Maybe? Where the fudge? Is he over here? Oh god, that gave me vertigo for a second. Sup, nerd! And he's dead now. Okay, search the hideout to find the stuff. So we can then make Sid stop sticking her nose and things that she probably be sticking her nose. Okay, I gotta scan something. Scan the thing! No. This is where all that stuff got to. I'd heard about meds being stolen. Scan the thing? No. Scan over here. No. Oh, hey, I can go up this way. Hey, I forgot there is a second story here. Oh, well. Is there any doctor surprise? Do -do 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 -do. I finally figured out how the proximity thing works. So it's slightly easier to find things now. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. It's here somewhere. Maybe. Data pad! Obvious data pad is obvious. Uh, here Yale's- okay, so we have to go- he won't talk, anything for his close involvement. So we gotta go to this Eos leader, on Yale. He's on Eos. On Eos. He was their tie to the Nexus. We'll have to talk to him to get to the root of this. They have a tie to the Nexus? Proof, it'll come in handy. Why do they have a tie? To the Nexus, and why is my nomad suddenly not? Oh, it, it's not that it's suddenly not black. It's just super freaking shiny. Okay, two years. Found you, Joseph. How you doing? We need to have a talk. Yale? Yeah, that's me, Stanton Yale. What can I do for the Pathfinder today? Yeah. Three sabers. Oh shit. Yep. Well, that reaction tells me all I need to know. Look, I just didn't think anyone would find out about it. Okay? <laughs> Glitching jury into the background. Left alone. 
We made a mistake. Explain. The new outposts are supply routes. They need a protection. We couldn't rely on just you. I proposed that we'd save Nexus blood by hiring exiles to fight for us. Oh, no, that was a mistake. First time I've seen someone so coldly calculating and stupid in one shot. Yep, and Glitchy Charlie behind me too. I knew Cochran. We served together. I thought I could trust him. You thought wrong. I commander. I armed them. I shared access to Pedromo's operations. And then they took their new tools and <sighs> went Idiot. Rogue. Attacked people they were supposed to protect. I've That's okay, I took that. The coaching tree is Yeah. So many coaching trees. Gone then. Shit. Cochran. He was a good man. Once. Now he's warm food. Really pleased at least. One loose end tied up. Wait, Addison? She wasn't sure Ryder would work out as Pathfinder. She was desperate for options. Rude? It doesn't even matter anymore. Addison! Rude. The sabers are gone. What? Just let this blow over. I have to get back to work. We've got an outpost to run here. Okay. Time to go talk to Miss Addison. Okay, Missy Addison. We're gonna have a discussion. I know why you're here. Yale told me to expect a visit. Yeah. Come to light, but Helios has a habit of dashing our hopes. Also, you know, Helios pirates. Been eliminated, Pathfinder. Yes, I murdered their faces. I dealt with them. Oh and God, I have, so I have to change my hair color. It's too much. Everyone's concerned. The three it's too much. Acted on their own. But they didn't, did they? I said. Sid's hey, a badass. Who the hell's this? Vetra's sister. Uh, this is Vetra's sister, Sid. Oh. You. <laughs> you tried to get someone to look into the three sabers. And she got me. So I was right, wasn't I? Someone on the Nexus was helping the three sabers. Yes, it was a mistake. We authorized a course of action that cost lives. But, like I said, it's over. People still deserve to know. If we made a mistake, we have to own it, right? Yeah. Who does that serve? It could damage relations with the Angara, spark another uprising. It would be lying. Ryder, if you hide this, what else will you let them hide? Oh boy. We're not taking tips on diplomacy from a teenager. Nope, Sid's right. With all Fuck you guys. Respect, director, <laughs> Sid's right. Transparency is important for building trust. My hair people is so ridiculous. People trust us, even when we screw up. It glows. Make sure people hear about this. Pathfinder, you're making a mistake. You made a mistake. But at least I'm willing to acknowledge it. Boom. So, let's go check in. I should end the episode here, but let's go check in on something first. I mean, we haven't seen Sam in a while. Hey, One Sam! Of father's memories is available. See, the hair looks much better in this lighting. Much better. It doesn't look as candy apple red. Let's see it. This memory is from your mother's final day. Uh-oh. Hey, candy apple red hair! Sorry, I should be laughing at this point, but it I broke. Was a good fight, soldier. It's not over yet. Alec. No. Alec, we have a few hours. Let's enjoy them. Well, talk to me. We'll still have each other, but we want you. Candy apple right here. I'm terrible. I know. <laughs> I love you. Both of you. Live your lives. Do great things. I see so much potential in you. My brother looks high. And remember. Fall in love. At least once. I'll let no. you guys talk. Say it, Alec. Say it. Then I will. Goodbye. Watch out for the kids. Be there for them. I will. Mourn me, Alec, but don't let this destroy you. <laughs> what did about you that? used to say when you were in N7? 
When your back's against the wall, if you can't run from it, use it. Remember that. Be strong. How do I feel like there's some sort of twist to this? It's just from that line. Oh. <sighs> so many deals. I... I didn't expect that. Death remains an elusive concept for me. A finite end in a cosmos, otherwise filled with infinite possibilities. All things end. Everything ends. Life. Stars. Galaxies. They all die eventually. It's just how things work. Yep. Yet it appears this belief serves as a form of motivation for many organic life forms. Yep. It's why you exist. Dad hoped you could save her. And I failed. What happened? I never understood. With all your capabilities, Sam, why did she die? My ability to enhance organic physiology has limitations. Your mother's disease was systemic. It also seems that life is more than just biology. It is the will to continue. She living. had no will to live. I believe what? your mother accepted her fate, and likewise, her body surrendered. Goddamn, mom! I detect additional memories, but they are currently locked. They may yet hold answers. Yeah, okay, Sam. Okay, I'll keep working on it. I'll keep it by Sam it for now. So that's gonna be it for this video, you guys. My mom's a jerk. Ancient A. Oh, wait! I forgot the ancient A was here. My Hi. Welcome. Hi. Well, I'll Thanks talk to you later. It, would seem it was from a side quest, bit. I can't remember if I did it in... I don't think I did that in an episode, but... Yeah. Sam's got a buddy! Yay! So that's gonna be it for this video, you guys. My name is Miss Scarlet Tanager, and I have been playing some Mass Effect Andromeda. I'll see you all... in the next episode.